Hi friends, today we are discussing the one more concept, the load curve. Load curve is nothing but the load variation with respect to time over a specific, a specific period of time in graphical manner is called load curve. The load curve may be daily load curve, monthly load curve and annually load curve. But the monthly load curve updated by the daily load curve and annually load curve updated by the monthly load curve. The, uh, we can show the picture how load curve is available. This is the hours. This is the power. This is the power. This is the last 24 hours. This is the zero hour, zero power and zero hours. This is the power in megawatts. Power in megawatts. This x axis is the hours. Y axis is the power. This is called base load. This area is called as base load area. This area is called as peak load area. Peak load area. This area, peak load area. This load is called base load area. In this base load comes under the thermal power plant, hydro power plant, nuclear power plant. These three comes under the base load. Big hydro plants only comes under this base load. Only big power plants. Here, here gas power plant, gas power plant plus non-conventional all power plant comes under this peak load area. In this base load, one more is coming uh, geothermal. Uh, in base load, uh, one more plant, uh, geothermal, geothermal power plant, geothermal power plant comes under this base load. This and this, these two are called odd man power plant, odd man out, odd, odd man out power plant. Basically, the gas power plant is the conventional power plant. But the geothermal power plant is the non-conventional power plant. Both are interchanging. This is going to that, that is going to this. That's why these two power plants is called as odd man power plants. These two power plants is called as odd man power plants. Odd man power plants. Basically, the uh, this is the the graphical load curve. This is the graphical load curve. Maybe positive slope, positive slope, zero slope, or negative slope. Negative slope. Three types of is available in this graph. Uh, for example, uh, for example, this is the zero slope. This is the zero slope. This power plant is called nuclear power plant. Nuclear power plant comes under this zero slope power plant. Zero slope power plant comes under the uh, new, uh, NP. Nuclear power plant is comes under the zero slope. Three types of slopes is available. One is the positive slope, zero slope, and negative slope. Based on load, it will come in. It will come in. Uh, basically, uh, actually, uh, the nuclear power plant and the thermal power plant is similarly is comes under the base load. But in hydro power plant, in real time, a big hydro power, a big hydro power plant it goes to base load. But uh, some small hydro power plant is goes under the peak load. Peak load purpose we are using this hydro power plant. Basically, uh, the cost equation of the the cost equation. Cost equation how to get basically cost is equal to fixed cost plus running cost. 
फिक्सड कॉस्ट प्लस रनिंग कॉस्ट कॉस्ट इक्वेशन सी वन इज इक्वल टू आर एस रूपीज ए वन पर के डब्ल्यू प्लस प्लस बी वन पैसा बी वन पर के डब्ल्यू एच सी टू इज इक्वल टू आर एस ए टू पर के डब्ल्यू प्लस पैसा बी टू पर के डब्ल्यू एच दिस इज ऑफ द कॉस्ट इक्वेशन ऑफ दिस ऑफ द कॉस्ट इक्वेशन ऑफ सी वन एंड सी टू दिस कॉस्ट इक्वेशन एट द बेस लोड दिस कॉस्ट इक्वेशन एट पीक लोड दिस कॉस्ट इक्वेशन एट पीक लोड दिस कॉस्ट इक्वेशन एट बेस लोड बेस लोड बेसिकली दिस ए वन इज ग्रेटर देन ए टू बी वन इज लेस देन इज बी टू इन बेस लोड इन बेस लोड इन बेस लोड फिक्स कॉस्ट इज मोर इन पीक लोड इन पीक लोड प्लांट इन पीक लोड प्लांट रन इन पीक लोड प्लांट रनिंग कॉस्ट इज मोर इन रनिंग कॉस्ट इज मोर मीन्स इन बेस लोड प्लांट the base load plants fixed cost is more the running cost is less in peak load plants in peak load plants the fixed cost is less the running cost is more the running cost is more the total cost equation c is equal to the total the total cost equation c is equal to c1 plus c2 we will get minimizing this cost the total cost c is equal to c1 plus c2 you will get minimize the total cost equation you will get minimizing this minimizing this total cost equation you will get minimizing this total cost total cost c is equal to total cost c is equal to c1 c minus c1 plus b1 x minus x1 plus a2 into b1 b2 into x1 this is the this is the cost equation of the this is the cost equation this cost equation differentiating with respect to p1 you will equal to zero this cost equation differentiating with respect to p1 equal to zero you will get you will get dx1 by dp1 is equal to a1 minus a2 by बी टू माइनस बी वन ए वन माइनस ए टू बाई बी टू माइनस बी वन यू विल गेट दिस इक्वेशन दिस दिस कॉस्ट डिफरेंशिएटिंग विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू पी वन यू विल गेट दिस इक्वेशन यू विल गेट दिस इक्वेशन डी एक्स वन बाई डी पी वन इज इक्वल टू ए वन माइनस ए टू बाई बी टू माइनस बी वन यू विल गेट दिस इक्वेशन इक्वेशन वॉट इज द पी इन दिस इक्वेशन वॉट इज द पी in this equation what is the p the capacity of the capacity of the capacity of system rate the capacity of system the capacity of system what is the p what is the p the capacity of peak load the capacity of peak load the capacity of peak load what is the x what is the x total number of units total number of total number of units what is the x1 number of number of units in peak load number of units in 
పీక్ నోట్ ఫైనల్ గా వాట్ ఈస్ ద పి మైనస్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద పి మైనస్ పి డాస్ ఈస్ కాల్ ద కెపాసిటీ ఆఫ్ ద కెపాసిటీ ఆఫ్ బేస్ లోడ్ ద కెపాసిటీ ఆఫ్ బేస్ లోడ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఎక్స్ మైనస్ ఎక్స్ వన్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఎక్స్ మైనస్ ఎక్స్ వన్ ఈస్ కాల్ నంబర్ ఆఫ్ నంబర్ ఆఫ్ యూనిట్స్ ఇన్ బేస్ లోడ్ 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 in this load curve in this load curve uh, some formulas is there with the help of this formula you can calculate this load curve graphical manner load curve we can calculate some formulas For area is equal to area is equal to power into time means total number of units total number of total number of units is generated total number of units is generated second one is called peak load peak load is equal to peak load is equal to means maximum load maximum load means a specific interval of time a particular time the load it will goes to peak that is called as maximum load third one is called average load third one is called average load average load is equal to total number of total number of units is generated by how many hours number of hours number of hours you will get average load fourth one is called plant load factor plant load factor is equal to average load by maximum load average load by maximum load you will get you will calculate plant load factor with help of these formulas we can calculate the we can calculate all things next uh, one uh, one of the example uh, one of the example i take in a graphical load curve we can calculate these are all things so previously already we are discussing a some formulas those formulas we are applying in this graphical load curve how to calculate first this is the graph the x axis is the hours the y axis is the power in kw this is the daily load curve means 0 to 24 hours daily load curve how to calculate first we can calculate the number of units first number of first you can calculate the number of units how to calculate the number of units power into this is the power this is the time this into this this into this 4 hours this is the 4 hours this is the this power is the 200 means 200 into 4 plus next 400 into 4 400 into 4 plus 300 into 4 plus 500 into 4 plus 250 into 4 plus 150 into 4 you will multiply you will get the answer how much i think 7200 7200 means k the units of energy the total number of units is generated is 7200 7200 units was generated you can calculate second one is called peak load peak load peak load is equal to maximum load peak load is equal to maximum load how much 
200, 400, 300, 500, 250, 150. This is the maximum load. Peak load is equal to 500 kW. 500 kW. Next, third one is called. Third one is called average. The average load. Average load is equal to total number of units. Total number of units is 7200. Number of hours, 24 hours. Number of hours, 24 hours. You will get some value. The average loading, the approximately 300, 300 kW you will get maximum. 300 kW you will get maximum. The fourth one is the plant load factor. Plant load factor. Fourth one is the plant load factor. Plant load factor is equal to average load to maximum load. The average load is how much? 300 kW. Maximum load is how much? 500 kW. This is the 300 kW. This is the 500 kW. You will get in 0.6 or 60 percentage. The plant load factor you will get are 0.6 or 60 percent. Previously already we have discussed it. The plant load factor is always less than 1 or less than 100 percentage. Less than one or less than one or less than hundred percent. Less than one, less than hundred percent. This way you can calculate the load curve means the graphical load curve as given. You can calculate this way.